Hey guys, today I've chosen to talk about 10 ways I deal with anxiety. So identifying the situation, identifying what is actually causing you to have anxiety, that's very, very crucial because as soon as you work it out, you can start putting things into place to help protect yourself. That was my main thing. I kept doing the same things, which made me like just keep going around and around and around in the same circle. So if, if it's somebody that is troubling you, maybe you may not know it, but you know, or you do know it, or it's so hard, like, you know, maybe your heart doesn't want you to let go, but you know in your head, you're like, I need to stop this. You need to do it. Because if someone is not good for your, your mental frame, then it's just definitely not worth it. Because you are more important than anybody else, and you need to always remember that there's going to be always somebody else another another friend another family member or something like that that can help you fill that void so as much as your heart might want it your mind and your gut it's, it's just not good when the stars align it's great when they don't no, just you need to close the door or just take a step back and just go i need to breathe and just breathe in your own space and whatever happens happens just go with the flow that's what i've had to learn so you know i really hope that that helps you seeing a psychologist i it took me a really really long time to get there because personally i felt like it was a bit of a, a like a weakness um, I, d I particularly didn't want to do it and so every family and friend asked me to go and see a psychologist and I was just like nah I don't want to do that that's not me I've been dealing with things for years and that's just not me but honestly I got to a point where my whole body just got so numb I disconnected from everything um, everything and everyone I had no connection to my home life, my work life, personal life, not even knowing what made me feel happy. It just got to a point where my whole body just went numb. So going to a psychologist was, it was literally my last resort because I didn't know what, what my next point would be when, you know, you, you stop feeling anything. Like I didn't, I didn't cry. I wouldn't cry. I wouldn't smile. I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't be Angry would be nothing. It was literally like I was there, but I was not there. It was like my body was there, but my soul was gone. So yeah, it's 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 a terrible feeling. Um, but going to go see somebody to talk about it helped me understand the situation, and that really really put me at peace. Just knowing that there was a way that I could overcome everything. So yeah seeing someone just just to help like talk to someone about it that can that has probably seen other people go through these sort of situations too and they'll have some really good advice for that so yeah I think it's a really really good thing and I actually regret not going to go see one earlier and it took me so long and and hurt me and you know some of my family and it took so much for me to go there so I highly recommend it, highly. So point number three is make a plan. So in some of my recent uh, situations, it might be finances. Um, so I would stay up all night and just worry about what's happening with finances. Am I gonna be able to afford this? Am I gonna be able to afford that? you know, all these other things. So what I did was just make a plan and just make a budget. And it doesn't matter how many plans you put in place. I have gone through so many budgets, it's not funny. But if it 
eases my mind at that point in time and allows me to sleep, then that's good enough for me. So yoga and Pilates. I love doing yoga and Pilates. I don't do a lot of it, um, but when I'm feeling really, really stressed out or I just feel like I haven't been able to like have a break, sometimes you just feel like your body is very, like when you do get to that numbing stage, it is really, really good just to bring some self-awareness back. So I do my yoga, I do my Pilates, and it's not for my body look, it's more for my mental. And then you get a bonus and you get it for your, for your physical side of things as well which is always fantastic. So, you know, you do that as well. So exert energy. What I mean by exert energy is the fact that anxiety can give you all this gut feeling and it feels like you just can't sit still. Um, you're very fidgety, you're very, like you just don't, like you just cannot stop. Like no matter what you do, you just feel like that. So what I try to do is yeah, go back to the yoga and Pilates, that's also exerting energy as well. Uh, but also um, just going for a walk, like I take my two dogs for a walk. Um, so going for a run, go for a walk. Um, I've actually literally just signed up for the gym. So we just had like a new like Westfields, I like just get built, which was amazing. It's 24 seven. So I like that because if I ever have like any sleeping issues, I will go and like, I'll probably just go to the gym. That's what I would do. And sometimes you just cannot sleep. That's where the insomnia side of things come in. I actually used to have this mental frame. So um, I usually on a good night would fall asleep between 9.30 and 11. So. If I'm still awake at 11, 11, 30 and I do not feel like I'm going to sleep, I check in with myself and I'm like, okay, I'm not feeling great. So I would try to go to bed, I would lay there and if I still just toss and turn or something's on my mind or whatever it is, I would literally, I would go for a drive into the city where all the hustle and the bustle is. I would drive around there for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, depending like how I'm feeling. And obviously it's like a quite a long, like it's a bit of a drive as well. It's about a 40 minute drive. Um, so I would go for a drive at stupid o'clock time. Um, go stay there for a little while, just driving around, just seeing people, just being in the midst of things. And then when I go, okay, I'm gonna start heading home. I literally go, Leave your shit there. Leave your shit with a hustle and bustle. It's the easiest thing that you can do. Then you drive home, listen to music, sing your heart out. Like that's the best thing. It's exerting energy as well when, you, when you're singing and like you're happy, like do what you're gonna do. It really, really does help. And then maybe when you're about 10 minutes away from home, just start like quietening down, still have the music on, but once you've done that, you should start feeling a bit more relaxed. So, yeah, that's one thing that I do. It's just leaving the anxiety with the hustle and bustle. That's it, I'm going home to bed. Healthy eating. So, healthy eating is again not for losing weight or anything like that. I get myself into a mind frame where it's like if I'm not getting any nutrients that benefits me and doesn't come from the ground, then how's that good for me? So, the other night I made like uh, when I was feeling a bit crappy, we made San Chao Bao because I just felt like I needed some good vegetables and just something light or something like that. So, doing something good for your body every day is something that I essentially work on. So whether it's having a pack full of vegetables for dinner or if I have Pilates or something that day. So yeah. And I've recently just purchased one of these. I'm on this bandwagon. I love it. It's so good. I did fill this up this morning and it's probably not as much as I should be drinking because it is about four o'clock in the afternoon. But um, it's more than what I would have had before. 
so that's a good one too. Have something to look forward to. So as you've recently seen in my last uh, vlogs, I've had something to look forward to. I've had my my new car, I've had um, my girlfriend's birthday. It's just looking forward to something which keeps you in high spirits. Next weekend, we're also going down to Sydney again for Christmas. So when we go do that, um, like I'm obviously really excited. We're gonna be doing a road trip and to look forward to. So if you always have something to look forward to, then that's also good. Having something small to look after, uh, look forward to after work is also really, really important. So I've just been watching Sabrina from Netflix. I loved it. Coming home from work, like, I'm gonna watch Sabrina tonight. Like, you know, it, it was just exciting just to find out what's gonna happen. You know, you guys can be like, oh my God, I hope Jess has put up a new YouTube video. Maybe. Reassure yourself. Believe in yourself. When you're in a situation where you might feel uncomfortable, you can what like you can actually be acting on anxiety energy. So anxiety on the spot, you just kind of go, oh, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta say something, or like you actually just work off that. Like I've been put into situations where I've been made out to be very dramatic, and I hate that. Absolutely hate it. And it's like, no, I have my beliefs, I have my morals, and I am valid to my own opinions. So anybody out there that is made to feel silly or made to feel dramatic, you, you are your own person. Your opinions or anything like that, like that's yours, okay? So believe in yourself because not what everybody else says is always right. So keeping busy is probably on the same level as having something to look forward to. Um, but you know, just walking the dogs, reading a book, or um, plan to always do something. So on the weekends, like I like to go for a walk um, up like a mountain and like it's, it's just beautiful views and all that sort of stuff. I like to do that sort of stuff. Or um, maybe have some friends come around, like plan a barbecue or I want to start a scrapbook, like I want to do that because I know that a lot of creativity is going to go into that and when you create something, you're putting like, it's almost like exerting energy as well, like you're putting yourself like into something else like you're putting your energy into something else in a way like me putting energy into the youtube so taking time out is very very important as well just go down to the beach or plan to like go out for dinner or something like that watch a movie go to the movies even by yourself like Going to the movies by myself, I actually really enjoy that. Like, it's just, just me. Like, I can do whatever. I can go get a coffee. I can walk around the shops and just window shop all morning, all night. Go get your nails done or go get a haircut or something that makes you feel good. That's, that's very, very important too. So, yeah. So I really hope that you liked my top 10 uh, ways on how I deal with anxiety. Um, I really hope it helps you as well. So if you really enjoyed this vlog, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel as well. And if you know anybody that could actually benefit from this vlog, please pass it on to them because all I want to do is just help out people and um, yeah, because I've been in, in a dark spot myself. Try out those 10 things and see how you go.